So, how's everybody doing? I just uh, got called for uh, pick up some electronics from a house clean out. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's in here. I did see uh, this computer with the, I think it's InSync, but uh, I believe, and I think I saw a glimpse of some uh, consoles, video consoles, like game co gaming consoles. Uh, but I plan on separating everything from, uh, what I'm going to just bring right to the scrapyard and, uh, what has value. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's some things to use. I think most of this is just going to go right to, uh, right to the scrapyard. Have my, uh, clippers to cut some wire. Sure, there's a little green board in this guy right here that's sellable so I'll probably save all the stuff that has the the good green boards and stuff to uh, make a little bit of cash and uh, show you what I pull out of this the best thing was it was all uh, all free Had a temperature here has been perfect recently. Not too hot, not too cold. Um, you need a coat in the coat in the morning, and uh, by the afternoon you need uh, short sleeve and shorts. The scrapyard will take all of the. My scrapyard does at least, not all scrapyards. Um, they'll take most of this electronic stuff. The computers I uh, put in a large pile for uh, to take out the boards. Let's see if everything's inside it. Thought it was gonna open right up, but I guess not. I can see the slot cards and everything in it though, so I'm gonna slide over. Oh, there it is. See, so this has a, a yellow board inside it, so that this motherboard um, sells for a different rate than the green ones. But I get good money for these slot cards and the memory. Looks like there's another uh, slot card or something there. I would say there's four or five dollars in uh, scrap boards on this computer. They're kind of small. Oh, it's Backstreet Boys, not NSYNC. Fun stickers. I wonder if that will come off. Can we stick that in the bus? <laughs> I think that will stick right in there. Um, I need to get the bus back up on the road. I figure I might do a little... Uh, um, a little fundraiser or something. It's got a got an issue with the the suspension I guess makes it kind of uh, tricky when you're on the highway this has a, a battery in it so it's a backup but there's one or two batteries in here um, gonna cut the wire and uh, put that with my batteries. I think I need to unscrew three, four screws to get the batteries out. 
but there was a lot of the nice thing about this one there was a lot of boxes of wire oh this was the yeah I saw this PlayStation it's nice it has the memory card more than a PlayStation in here power strip and eh, those are sellable I get a dollar to two dollars for the power strips Says Nintendo system. I don't know what that is. I've never had that one. That's a Super Nintendo. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure what what this guy does. I don't think I got the Sega. I guess that holds the Barbie game. I if there's more games. A lot of controllers. And wire packs. I honestly didn't think there would be this many... Uh, game pieces in here. I haven't had that one either. PlayStation Grip. I think that's for PlayStation 2. Or PlayStation also. That's sealed. I didn't get the PlayStation 2, but I'm happy that I got the original PlayStation. I'm going to have to figure out uh, what is this one from? 1993, so it's must just be a more simple version of a regular Nintendo. I always get good money for the Super Nintendos. all savable. Nintendo power cord power supply. Let's see if this one's anybody. This is Nintendo also. Anything in uh, Nintendo wires or wiring is always a uh, very sellable at the flea market. So I would think this is a $80 box, maybe even a $100 box. Only thing that would have made it better if there was a lot more games. Let's see if there's anything inside the no, nope, nothing in the PlayStation. All right. I'm gonna untangle some wires. So, I have two bat boxes of pure uh, scrap there. Um, I might actually be able to sell that little uh, green board. Put it in with my. Uh, I'll put it in with the phone boards. See, I got all these. Uh, multi-channel phones and they tend to uh, have a nice medium size uh, green board that when I do uh, do sell them uh, add up to be a decent amount of money. I'd say I probably save uh, $1,500 to $2,000 worth of uh, electronic waste uh, from the, because I have this, I have a place to take it that buys the boards for decent money. It would be neat if there was like a vintage cell phone. These are all cordless phones. What's in 
the Home Depot bag. Some scrap. That might be a vintage cell. Nope. Just that old non flip phone. This was a. Uh, the stuff I got today was uh, from uh, one of my better better contacts so I don't normally go for uh, all the all the recyclable uh, wire and stuff when I when she calls it's normally uh, I'll go and get my uh, I'll buy content contents of houses and stuff uh, but it doesn't pay to say no when they call because then they'll just find somebody else. Another vintage cell phone. Little bag. And then I sell all these as motors, the converters. But it looks like most of this is gonna go to scrap. have this bucket of wire I have to process and that bucket of wire so it def definitely adds up to being uh, decent scrap money this was in with everything it's a laminating machine it's pretty cool I guess it goes like that that might be sellable. Looks like you put it in there and there's two two rolls of lamination. Pretty sure you can still get the that must cut it at the end. Pretty sure you can still get the laminating paper for that. I know the iron ion breezes sell okay. I believe that's what that is. Looks like a uh, direct TV box. That's good. WD Digital. That's kind of cool too. Vintage CD, uh, portable CD player. That's sellable. I'll put that on the hood. I guess we have to go through this box. So that was the box that was on the truck. I guess that's like a recorder of some sort. I'll have to look that up. It's new, never opened. A little photo printer. I'm seeing a ton of batteries. Let's see when they expire. As long as they're not open, they tend to last pretty long. Um, 2023 is when they expire, so can still use those. There's a lot of batteries that are unopened here. Uh, 2025, these will expire. Same thing. Same thing. So, definitely a lot of usable batteries.
let's see when these were. This is 2026. Thanks, Bar. Feels like I just picked up a uh, fifty to a hundred dollars worth of batteries. All good name brands too. This one looks like it might be bad. Too bad the kids aren't here. I could always do the the tongue test. I guess it's like a little tripod. iPhone cords or I, I guess it's an iPad cord but they uh, they sell pretty good I haven't seen any uh, too many iPhone products though put all that wire over with the wire The rest will go to the scrapyard. What is this? Doesn't look like they ever pulled off the. Oh, it's a portable CD player. That's pretty cool. I guess it also plays an old uh, iPad or Pod. That's sellable. That's it in that box. Except for looks like one more CD player. Portable. So this is a JVC. Looks like it does a VHS. Oh, it actually might be sellable. It's more shipping it is the issue. This is CD, DVD, video. Is it a recorder? Just looks like output. I might put that aside for later. To me, it's junk. But uh, to take the green board out. This is DVD, RAM, DVD, R recording. Alright, so that's good. And it's Panasonic. I like that it's in this dust jacket bag and it has all the wiring. These can be worth decent money too. I think uh, the house that I went and got all this stuff out of, uh, they said the next door house sold for over two million dollars so to, th to them all this is junk especially when they're looking to, to sell um, sell the house I don't know what that is we're gonna have to open that up it's probably another uh, direct TV box though if I had to guess it's about the same size same color um, 100 disc CD changer. I would just scrap it. Um, this looks like a big air purifier. Probably just scrap that too. All the little mini heaters are sellable in about three or four weeks. As soon as it gets uh, to be like 50 degrees. All that stuff sells really well, but it feels like I did pretty well because I know I did uh, 80 to 100 bucks on the video games, probably 80 to 100 bucks on the DVD recorder. On wires and stuff, the portable uh, CD players. And the laminating machine, probably another 
forty dollars. And then I got all the batteries. I'll probably end up using them with the kid toys, but they're probably fifty to a hundred bucks. So that's that's real close to three hundred dollars worth of stuff. And then I still have all the scrap. And my guess, even though it looks like a lot of wire, it's probably only uh, 15, 20 bucks in wire. And scrap is really very low right now. It's probably uh, worth, it's worth more my time just to put it in the trash. But I like, I like that it gets recycled. That's one of the main reasons I didn't want them to put all this in the dumpster. And you never know what they're going to call me on next time. So this one here has a good green board. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and has a little bit of RAM and the slot cards. The RAM and the slot cards, I do get the the premium for. I probably average uh, four to six dollars a pound on uh, slot cards and I think I get like twelve dollars a pound on on RAM at the smelter the green boards they average about a dollar seventy a pound I was just talking to one of the guys at the smelting shop and they said that uh, the new stuff that's coming out really has nothing I think they ran a, a two thousand pound test and got uh, less than uh, 3% or 4% what you can get out of an older PC. Uh, they just said it really wasn't worth doing. But um, I haven't decided what to do with these uh, direct TV boxes. I guess I'll have to look them up, see if they have a buyback or if they sell them. And the rest is going to go... Uh, to the scrapyard just so we can clean up this yard all right thank you very much for watching um never know what i'm going to get into but i just feel lucky today that i found uh the video games so everybody later if you haven't yet uh shoot me a message and peace so I loaded the truck with all the scrap from uh, the warehouse and uh, I guess on the way found uh, to, on the way to the scrapyard finding a little bit of scrap I think I'm gonna have to come back for this table base doesn't look broken it's got a few little cracks but I think that's sellable at the flea market but I got two lamps. Actually, look like they would work. But I don't know. Maybe we'll save the one. Scrap that one, definitely. All right. Let's see what else we find on the way to the scrapyard. So, looks like way more stuff right here. I'm seeing a uh, lawnmower. Some vintage golf clubs. That's actually sellable. This time of year, it's... Maybe I'll come back for that. I like the shuffleboard game. That's pretty cool. But I guess we'll put the bike sellable too. Maybe I'll just put the golf clubs on, come back for all the sellable stuff. And there's a lawnmower over there. So this looks like a little weight set. There's a lawnmower. I wonder if it has compression or if it's junk. Uh, it definitely sounds junky. I guess we'll throw that lawnmower on top. Um, and we'll throw all this metal. 
All right, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse while I do this. One more pile. What's nice is I didn't expect to find uh, this much stuff today. Um, so it really, picking up all those electronics, uh, kind of worth it because, well, I don't know, maybe not because there isn't going to be a ton of, uh, ton of money on this scrap. I would think we're probably only going to have, we'll be lucky if we break $25. The price has dropped significantly, really bad recently. I think it's, uh, three dollars a hundred so I don't think I have a thousand pounds on here I might a thousand pounds would be uh, 30 bucks but it is better than it just going to the landfill so we'll keep on uh, see if we can find anything else right before we get there I'm gonna go fix that uh, pile so I think this might be the last piece. Um, it's a little treadmill. Hopefully this is attached. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's cool. It's an antique bamboo pole, fishing pole. Uh, some of these like back in the day, they used to do graffiti on the side to show the size of the fish that they'd catch. But this is a nice early one. Definitely cool. I think that's probably 20 bucks, if not more. I like the handle, how it's all hand carved out of mahogany. My guess is from the 40s, maybe earlier. All right. And there's there's a roll top desk, but that looks pretty beat. Um, looks like a little bell. So take the little bell, and we'll figure out how to put this treadmill on. Really like the fishing pole. Oh, it actually has a name. It says Kingfisher. That's pretty cool. And my guess is it's an eight foot, eight foot rod. All right, how do we get this up? Treadmills are always heavy. motors in them. I think one strap be pretty good. All right, next stop, scrapyard. Now we got a lot of weight, 67. Let's we'll see how we do. There's nobody here because uh, so uh, so quiet. What's your name? David. What do you have? Light iron. See how we do. Well, gotta untie this and we'll get all this off. What's light what's light iron right now? 
350 here, dollar 25 up in North Jersey. Dollar 25? Dollar 50 yesterday at Klein. Wow. They're doing a dollar 50, dollar 25 at a mirror cycle. So it's 55.2, it means it's like 1,100 pounds. That's pretty good. Well, uh, they're paying 350, like uh, you said. It'll be close to. Anything else? That's it. Yeah. It'll be a, like just under uh, 40 bucks. So this is what we ended up with. Yeah, almost 40 bucks. Way better than I thought. $39. So we got 325 a, a hundred. It said I had 1,200 pounds. That's good. I'm gonna go bring uh, the big skull I got over for Halloween and uh, go see if the that stuff I left is there. But thank you everybody for watching. Um, we'll see you next video. I uh, I'm happy that. Uh, I was able to recycle a little bit today. Um, I'm going to try to do more, even though the prices are down. See everybody later. Peace.